Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast. So glad you could join me today. This week, we're focusing on part two of prophetic inclusivity. Let's begin with our opening scripture passage. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. I've had many experiences with Jesus over the years, some I shared in my book, Awakening the Inner Ticker of Life. You know how it goes. We get information and store it away until a time when more is revealed by God. And this is exactly what has prompted this whole topic of prophetic inclusivity. Now, in this message today, I'm going to share with you two different night visions, one from 2013 and one from 2017. And they both have a direct influence on the things that are going on in our world today, but also things that have affected me personally. During a dream that I had in 2017, I found myself in a community or church hall, and I was in the midst of a crowd of people. A man was at the podium speaking. I didn't know him. He commented on a recent memorial service I had performed, and he made a point about the service not being religious. He also made it known that he was raised Catholic, but did not follow the way anymore. I got the impression he meant we don't need that stuff anymore. I instinctively knew in my heart and spirit what this man was sharing was not truth. He was what they describe in scripture as a false prophet. I reaffirmed within my spirit that I would not deny Jesus. Why? Because in his presence is power and there is power in his presence. Let's say that one more time together. In his presence is power and there is power in his presence. I was reminded of another vision from 2013. I met Jesus outside of a space I call the gray place. The air was heavy. There was a circular structure in front of me with gray walls and no sense of light. It was not a space of joy. Jesus turned to me and said, thanks for defending me. I didn't really know what that meant at the time, but I do now. In these last few months, due to interactions that I've had with others, I've had to take a step back and pray about what inclusive is and what it really means. And we know that without prophetic vision, the people shall perish. And for me, when I'm looking for confirmation, I either receive a dream, vision, or inspiration from God, And then I go back, I turn back to the book, I turn back to scripture for a further affirmation. And I found one that fits for today, taken from 2 Peter. Furthermore, we have the reliable prophetic word. You do well by paying attention to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Our closing scripture passage, let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my every word. There is a difference between straw and grain. Jeremiah 23. Now friends, if you've had these experiences or feel you are under attack by another because of your beliefs or because of your relationship with Christ, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for tuning in and be blessed. Amen.